Have you ever wondered how hot is fire? Today we're going to check out the temperature of a candle with an infrared camera. The video on the left is taken from a webcam and that on the right is from an infrared camera. The temperature of the fire is shown on the top right. A fuel, like a candle, has stored chemical energy inside it. When it burns, energy, also known as heat of combustion, is released. The heat will raise the temperature of the gas product around the fuel, ionizing the gas and producing the fire. Part of the heat will be lost to light, radiation and convection. Here we see from the infrared camera that the temperature of the wick, the bottom part of the candle, is about 800 to 850 degrees Celsius. You may have read from the internet that the hottest part of a candle flame is at its tip, which is about 1400 degrees Celsius, but we do not see it from the infrared camera here. This is because our infrared camera is not a high-speed one, so it is not possible to see the entire flame. Can we change the flame temperature? Let us see what happens here. When we put a glass on top of the flame, the temperature of the wick drops to about 750 degrees Celsius. This is because oxygen is needed for the combustion process. The glass limits the flow of oxygen to the flame, so heat of combustion is reduced, and the flame temperature is also reduced. When we remove the glass, the wick temperature goes back up. What if we want a fire with higher temperature for metal cutting or welding? Here we can burn the fuel in pure oxygen, so that less heat is lost to the nitrogen in the air. Typically, gas welding uses a combination of acetylene and oxygen, which can give a flame temperature of more than 3000 degrees Celsius. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos on energy on my channel. Bye bye!